Hey cute people. It's my wash day Sunday. I didn't feel like washing my hair, but I knew that if I want my hair to continue to thrive, feel good, stay moisturized, all that good stuff, I had to keep up with my little routine. As you can see, my hair is wet. I always keep it in twists, but the twists are starting to unravel because I made them too big, bigger than normal anyway. So they came out, which probably means my hair is going to be tangled, 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 but that's okay. So this is my wash day chit chat video like i mentioned because i didn't want to do anything to my hair but i figured if i sit down and talk to you guys about some things whatever it is just rambling be able to get me through my routine because i'm not going to do much as a matter of fact i'm going to do as little as possible to get the maximum results i don't know how that work how that'll work but we'll see so like i mentioned it's sunday it looks like it's a nice day. I have been putting this off all morning. And it's now, what, about 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon? I don't know. So you know how I fight with the light. So I might be fighting with it right now. But as long as you can hear the words that's coming out of my mouth. But anyway, enough of that. Give a gobble. I'm washing my hair, believe it or not. You know what I'm using to wash my hair? This product right here. Yeah, this is the Organic Root Stimulator. And at that time, I guess they weren't ORS yet. But this is an uplifting shampoo. It gently lifts flakes and excess oils, naturally conditions and detangles your hair. It stimulates and invigorates your scalp. I don't know about the um, stimulating and invigorating my scalp. I didn't really feel all that. But I can say it definitely lifts whatever oils you may have on your hair. My hair wasn't stripped. It really surprised me because I really don't care for many of organic root stimulators products. But I like this pretty much. Like I mentioned, you can see it's a small bottle. I got it from um, one of the kids, and I decided to use it because I wanted to cleanse my hair. I hadn't used a shampoo in, like, months. I had just been co-washing. I like the smell. It's really, really light. My hair is soft. You know, like I said, it, it really surprised me. So if you're looking to try something, I don't know if you want to buy it, but if you have this in your kit and you hadn't tried it, try it. Give it a try. It really surprised me and then I wanted to do a little protein treatment so I went back to this product here which you guys have seen me talk about before so and I like this I like this and I love how it smells I told you before to me it smells like um a cigar and I love it mm, I love 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 this smell I got this I believe from curl box it came from a kid, so I don't remember. I have so much stuff. I can't remember where I got it from. But anyway, and then I'm going to go back to using the Orient products that I had been using before. This came in a curl box. So I'm going to continue to use that until I use it up. This here is almost finished, so you can see there ain't a thing in here. But I'm going to continue to use it. And I still have the twist butter, which I do like. So I'm going to continue to use that. And someone has suggested mm, using it on your body. So I think I'm going to start doing that too. Because it really does feel good in my hair. I try to use it sparingly. But, you know, sometimes I roll it on a little too thick. And this is another product that I'm going to use. I think I mentioned this before. You can see I have like a corner left. So I'm going to use the rest of that up and yay that means I can go on to something else because I figured um, why well, start using something else when you haven't even finished this stuff here so once I finish it I'm going to something else but you know what I wanted to ask you guys and I want to ask some other people that I um, know watch Empire what are you guys doing now that Empire is not coming on anymore Thursday of last week when I realized, well, the Wednesday after the last show, I realized it wasn't going to come on the next week. I was like, oh, man, what am I going to do? I don't live for TV shows like that, but Empire is is so exciting. It's like something is always happening, right? Something is always going on. And that show is very entertaining. Another show that um I kind of miss, and it is entertaining also, and that is How to Get Away with Murder. Mm-hmm. Scandal. 
here. I can do what I was can do. The episode where Courtney Vance was on it, I enjoyed that one. Why? Because I didn't have to look at um, Olivia every five minutes saying, you can't have me, you can't have me. Next thing you know, her and the president knocking over stuff in the Oval Office all over the floor and that going back and forth. I guess that's the um, center of the show, but I could do without that every single episode. You may debate me, but I'm sure you have your reasons for why you watch Scandal. I watch everything else. I DVR a lot of shows and I watch everything else. And then when I'm finished watching whatever else that I wanted to watch, then I'll watch Scandal. I love Kerry Washington. I love her to death. But I don't want to continue to see those mad love scenes with her and Fitz. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, so what else is going on in my life? Not much of anything, really, because like I mentioned to you guys, this is just a chit-chat video, so hopefully you chit and chat back with me. Pretty much, I'm just trying to max and relax. The other day, I was thinking about my birthday this year and how old I'm going to be, and I'm like, wow, I'm going to be an old girl this year. Well, I was an old girl <laughs> years ago, but I'm going to be an older girl. This year, yes, I am, but I'm still enjoying myself, so I cannot complain. I try to keep myself in the best health. I have some health issues, and sometimes I have to be honest, I don't always do the right thing, but I'm trying to get better with it because I want to live. Yes, I do. I don't want to have complications and having to go to the hospital and all that other mm, stuff. But anyway, going back to Empire, leave me, yeah, something in the comments of what you are doing now. I mean, there's always something on television, you know, whether you want to watch it or not, but there's always something on. So what are you guys doing? I don't know what I just, what I did Wednesday past. I cannot remember what I did. What did I do Wednesday past? But I really did enjoy the show. Single Ladies is back on. You know it's on BT, BT and Centric. But the last season, I had watched it, but I was getting tired of that show too. Yeah. One day I'll tell you why some of these shows really get on my nerves. Because <laughs> some of them, like, I mean, I know it's TV and entertainment, but some of them I'm like, oh, really? Oh, my gosh. We've seen that before. I don't want to see it again. So let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at all these products I have here. It's hair everywhere. Oh my goodness. Hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. I tell you, just little pieces here, little pieces there. It's so funny that um in my bathroom, sometimes in my bedroom too, I can look at the wall and I'll see a little piece of <laughs> little ringlet on the wall. I'm like, oh my God, I'm everywhere. I could never commit a crime, I tell you for sure, because if the person who is investigating or um, what I want to say, um, the crime scene, they're investigating the crime scene, but they're really getting evidence for the, the forensic, forensic scientists doing the crime scene. It didn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying. That person, all they had to do was just look on the wall pick some of my ring lists, and I'm down for the count. They, they'll have me, like, one, two, three. But, you know, another thing, too, do you watch any of um, Tyler Perry's half-hour comedy shows? Mm, yeah, those shows, I'm telling you. One of the young ladies here from YouTube is on Love Thy Neighbor. She is so funny on her YouTube channel, but I don't know what happened with her funniness on... Um, Love thy neighbor. She's probably not responsible for her creative content. <laughs> I don't know what you think about that too. But let's see here. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. And there's so many things I need to be doing. But I'm going to try to get a lot of them done tonight. As a matter of fact, maybe I won't have to worry about it tomorrow. Someone else is going to cook dinner tonight, not me. So... That frees up some of my time. But I needed to do my hair. I really did because 
when I take care of it, and I'm sure you all know the same thing with your hair too, especially if you have dry hair, tightly cold hair. Once you start taking care of it, you see it flourish, you see it grow, and it's feeling good, looking good. You take advantage, and you may skip a week or two. This is just for me, I know for sure I cannot do it because in that one week, that one week, I see so much difference in my hair. I tell you, it's like if I don't can, you know, moisturize it on a regular basis, and that has to be at least no less than three times a week. I see so much difference in my hair. I tell you, it's like, oh my gosh, I can see why people would cut their hair and keep it short because if it's short, well, when my hair was short, I really liked the fact that I could just wash it in the shower, dry it, put some, you know, product on it, do what I'm going to do to it, and while I'm gone. Now that it's longer, it's, it's, it tangles so much. In order to wash it, because I never wash my hair out. Like I said, these twists I had in my hair, they came out. I've never washed my hair where it was fully out because then I know I'll be detangling like forever. I'm sure there's a method for it, but I ain't got time for all that. I want to take the least time. Remember I told you the least time to get my hair done the way I want it to be done and have it look the best that it's going to look. And that's what I want to do. So I'm not going to stay long. I just really wanted to chit, really wanted to chat. I was trying to wait until I got ready to style my hair and talk a little bit more so that I can kill two birds with one stone, but you know how it is with me in the light. If I don't have it too much longer, you won't be able to see me at all. Then I hate that dark background and yellow in the back and all other stuff, natural sunlight does me pretty good. So hopefully you won't see me two-toned. Hopefully I'll be light here because I don't have a viewfinder, so I can't see exactly what it's going to look like until I upload it. But it's all good. As long as you can hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. And remember now, leave me a comment um, below and let me know what you guys are watching on Wednesdays and how much you miss Empire. Like I said, I don't usually go crazy over shows, but I really, really like this show. I love Tavanji, of course. Terrence Howard, for other reasons, I can do without him, but I watch him anyway. But I love Taranji, so I definitely support the cause, but I wish there were just a few more episodes, because that show had to end. And then they killed Malik, Malik Yoba, and just prior to that, I was saying they need to give him some more um, um, to do on the show. And you know, lo and behold, bam, he's dead. But I wish him a lot of luck in his career, so I hope we'll see him in something soon. Because if you remember back in the day, New York Undercover, that was the show. So, like I said, it's just a chit chat. Nothing much. I didn't really have much to say. Nothing going on. I wanted to really share other than Empire, really. See what you guys are doing. So, I'm going to end this video because I want to wash this. this um, my hair feels really soft, though. I want to wash this conditioner out of my hair and start styling it some type of way. And, yeah, get on with the rest of my day, which I'm just going to take this nail polish off my hand. As a matter of fact, you're like, I love this color when I first put it on. I don't know if you can see it much, but I'll tell you what it is. I had this a good while. Someone I knew um, a long time ago, she used to wear this color all the time, every week. Every time she got a manicure, she got this color from Etsy. And you would not believe, I wish that I could um, show you here, but I know it's not going to show up much. Let's see. The name is called Poppycock. I don't know if it's a color they still carry, but, it, but it's spring now, and I wanted to kind of lighten up my color. So I said I'll start with this one. Because we're still not out of our winter coats because it's cool. So I really, this is just my choice. I really don't want to wear anything bright, minty, you know, spring colors yet. I'm really funny about that, but I like this color. And here it is again. Poppy.
like I said, as a matter of fact, I want to look and see if it's still available on their website, if it's the color that they still use, because if you notice, they keep the name on the brush, you know, the brush now, this here is underneath, so you can tell from there, I think that it's an old color from way back in the day, and I was debating, should I put this on my fingers? And I did. And then my nails look horrible. Flavor where you ask me about my nails, I have a video coming for you soon. I'm going to tell you what I do because these are my nails. And they are growing. I'm ready to cut them because they're a little bit too long. But anyway, let me end this video all that another time. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next. And I want to say to you all, share and spread.